Now we're going to try and work out the, uh, the surface area of a sphere. So, uh, so we've done this before. The arc length is given by this. Uh, so what this means is that in looking at this dx here, it means that you're, you're summing up everything in the, uh, in the dx direction, in the x direction. So, uh, so let's just look at this dx. Let's imagine, uh, this, uh, let's imagine that, uh, that's this distance here is dx. dx is never this big, but let's just imagine. So what that means is if you have a, if you have a dx distance, um, if you have a dx distance, and then you, you combine it with this thing here, well, this thing here would represent the arc length here. So, so, so what, what, what this is saying is that if, if you have a dx distance, let's just imagine this is your dx distance. The minute you combine these two, this thing here will represent Will represent uh, will represent this distance here. Okay, so so dx here is, is really this 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 uh, this x distance here, and then collectively this thing here would represent the arc length. So uh, so remember we're we're going to decrease uh, dx, uh, make dx smaller and smaller into thin strips. But but the thing is if, if you, so so the thickness of of this strip here. Is, is the dx. So, uh, so if you look at, so, so you've got lots of strips here. If you, let's just look at a random strip here. The thickness here is, uh, is dx. And then, and then, so, so that's the thickness there. But then when you combine it with this, you're really getting the, uh, the arc for, for that small strip. So, so it is slanted. Um, so, so, so the, so this is, this dx here is, uh, is the x distance. But then the minute you combine it with this, you actually get that, that arc length. Okay, so, so if you want to work out the surface, uh, the surface area of the sphere, you're, 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 you're in effect summing up in the, in the x direction. You're really summing up everything in the x direction. But let's just look at one strip. So, so that's, the, so the thickness here is dx. The thickness here is dx. But then the minute you combine this, then you're going to get that slope. You, you, you're going to get that arc length. And then if you want to work out the surface area, once you've got your, your arc length here, once you've got your, your D, well, once you've got your arc length here, then, uh, then you, then you, uh, 2 pi r it. You, you basically revolve this, uh, revolve this around like this. So, so once you've got your, your arc length, this here is your arc length. Once you've got your arc length, you, you get your arc length. So let's, you get your arc length and, and then times, uh, 2 pi 2 pi y. Well, you, you times it with this. 2 pi. Well, the, the, the height here is, um, the height here is, is y. The height here is y. So, so, so once you've got your arc length, uh, 2 pi y in, and, and then you, you will get your, your circumference for, for that given, for that given slope, for that given arc length. Okay, so, so if, if you look at this, let's start again. Uh, you're, you're, you're summing up everything from, from, uh, a to b. So if you look at this one particular thickness here, let's just look at this one particular thickness. The thickness here is, is dy. Oh, uh, sorry, is, is dx. The thickness here is dx. The minute you combine this, you're going to get an arc length. Now, once you've got your arc length, then, uh, then times 2 pi, uh, the height here would be y. Uh, so 2 pi y, and then times your, your arc length, and then that, that will give you, that will give you the, uh, the circumference, if you like, of that, the, the circumference. But then you've got to sum up all those strips. So, so let, let's start again. Sorry, um, we, we're summing up everything from from uh, A to B, from A to B. So we're summing up everything from A to B. So you start out with your your thickness here. You start out with your dx. Combine it with this, and then you will get your your arc length. Once you've got your arc length. Um, times 2 pi y. That will then give you your, your, your circumference, if you like. Um, and, and then, and then, and then you've got to sum up everything. And then you've got to sum up everything, meaning you've got to introduce a, but don't forget up here, up here, the, the arc length here does not include that. That was just for one particular strip. So now, uh, now you've got to sum up everything. So, well, if, if you sum up everything, your surface area will be, um, will be given by this. And here I haven't explained it very clearly. In the past I've um, I've done a better job in explaining this surface area. So track back to um, 
to the surface area. Uh, the uh, I've already explained this in the past. Um, the the surface area is given by this. So so when you look at this, hang on, when you look at this, you start out with your dx. So so you you are really summing up everything here. You're moving in the x direction. So you start out with your dx. Let's just look at this one particular strip here. You start out with your dx. Once you've got your dx, so you start out with your dx. Once you've got your dx, combine it with this, and then that will give you the uh, the uh, the arc length. And once you've got your arc length, times two pi r, so times two pi y, and then that will give you the circumference for one one strip for one for one particular strip here for one particular strip. But then you've got to combine all the all the strips here. That's why you need the uh, that's why you need this integral here. Okay, so so this part here only represents the that only represents one strip. So if you if you want to sum up all the strips, then you need to take the integral here. Um, I've explained this in the past. Uh, track back to one of the uh, earlier videos if you don't understand this. Okay, in the I will continue in the next video.